now we want to start picking this weapon up. I'm going to bring the player here. I'm going to go to Mixamo.com and look for a pickup animation. If you look at this animation, the hand stops here in midair. This is not very good. We want something that goes all the way down to the floor. This is a little better. Still not perfect, but I guess it's good enough. Download it at 60 frames per second. So it's called lifting. I'm going to put it in my animations folder. Humanoid animations. Drag it in there. Here it is, lifting, big, humanoid, apply, configure, everything is green, it's good, rename it in the animation, lifting, and we don't want the entire animation, we'll go from here, the way up to here. Just a little pickup motion. I'll try putting this on the feet. Apply. I'm going to go to the animator window. Animator. And drag in the animation. Lifting. And let's make the transition from idle to lifting. No exit time. Adjust the graph. The animation might be too slow. I'm going to try two for the speed. Maybe that's a little too much. 1.5. One point two. Okay. Maybe I have to adjust the transition here. Okay. In order to make this transition, I'm going to go into the transition indexer code. And I want to use the double tap down. So here is the down condition, double tap down, put it in the code, input key type, keep move down. We also want to make sure that we're touching the weapon, F12 here, and I'm going to add a condition, touching weapon, and the condition is that we have something in the colliding weapons dictionary. So when we're checking whether we're touching the weapon or not, we simply take a look at the dictionary, colliding weapons, and if there's nothing in there, we're not touching a weapon, otherwise we are. Save all the code, I'm gonna go back to Unity Go to my idle folder. So we're using the indexer 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to create another one, which will be 4. Transition indexer, player, transition indexer, idle to weapon pickup. That'll be 4. Index is 4. And the two conditions is that you double press, double tap down, and you're touching the weapon. So add the ability to the idle state. And also the condition. The condition is that indexer equals four. If I play, 
double tap down, we get the pickup motion. For now, let me just make the transition back to idle at the end of the animation. Okay, so double tap down, you get the picking up motion. If you're not touching the weapon, it doesn't get triggered. Your body has to be touching the weapon. Now for the actual pickup, I'm going to create a new state, a new ability. I'll call it weapon pick up. Let me copy paste from another ability just for the format. Weapon pick up. Start with a clean slate. Okay, and I'm also going to have a public float called pick up timing. Press Ctrl T, go into the animation progress. I want to store that info, the weapon that we pick up. I'll create another header. Weapon, I'll call it holding weapon. Go back to the weapon pickup. And first we want to check if we're past the timing. So if the animation time is past the pickup timing, and if we don't have any weapons that we're holding, that's when we actually pick up. Let me go back to the condition. Also add a line here that says holding weapon has to be null. If you're already holding a weapon, you can't pick it up, pick another one. So for the holding weapon, we're going to get it from our dictionary. I think I'm going to create a function called get touching weapon from the animation progress. Okay, so public weapon get touching weapon, that's the new function. And we want to look at the data in the dictionary. It's a list of colliders in the colliding weapons dictionary. We get the first weapon from the list. And then we return it. So back in weapon pickup, we get the weapon. That's the holding weapon. And then we want to actually have the weapon on the player's hand. Let me put this up here. Okay, for now I'm just going to put the weapon on the right hand. So the parent is going to be the right hand. Right hand attack. Local position. I'll try zero. Same thing with the local rotation. Zero. Save all the code. Go back to Unity. And I'm going to create a pickup folder, a weapon pickup. Weapon pickup. And create the ability. 
weapon pickup, player, weapon pickup. I'll try 20% as the timing. And for the state, add the ability. And let's see if it works. So here's the pickup. Okay, looks like it's working fine. The rotation and the position needs to be fixed, but it's on the hand. Now let me go to the actual weapon and change the local position. I think it's too big. First, let me change the size of the weapon. Maybe 80%. And try again. Okay. Even 80 might be too big. I'll try 70%. Okay, now we want to set up the local position for the X. Make sure it fits the hand. Something like that. Okay, it looks about right. Now I gotta remember the local position. Let me get my notepad. This is close to zero, so I'll just say zero. And make sure we get as accurate as possible for the position and the rotation. And then I'm going to go to the weapon script. We need a custom position. And a custom rotation. When we pick up the weapon, we get the local position from that variable. Quartonian we get the vector version of the rotation. Now we just gotta put in the numbers. So here's the X, here's the number. and let's test it. Okay, I think it's good. The pickup timing might be a little too quick. I'll try 30%. Try 35. Okay, 35 seems to be okay. Let's see it again on a bigger screen. Okay, now you can't do anything with the axe yet, and the animations are not fit for the axe, but 
we got the pickup correctly. Okay, we'll do more in the next one. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.